Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Selenia for those who do not know. And in this week's video, I wanted to do a video all about an update of my Tesla Model Y. I'm currently sitting in it now. Here it is in all of its glory. I wanted to do this review because it's been about two months since I've owned the vehicle. I bought the vehicle at the end of April and this is the end of June. So it's been officially two months. I don't wanna give my opinion too early because when I first got it, of course, everything I loved about it, there was not anything that I didn't like. And I kinda just needed to give it a little bit of time so I can see the things that could be better if that makes sense so I wanted to bring you guys along for this video I hope that you guys will enjoy I'm kind of just leaving a whole rundown if I regret getting my Tesla Model Y I have a 2024 because this is in a 2024 time I just got a brand new one they had all these different rebates all not even rebates they have all these different deals all of that type of stuff and I've always wanted a Tesla so this is the one that I decided to get and I just felt like it was time so I wanted to bring you guys along and just talk about all of my pros and cons. I literally have my iPad here with me because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So we're just going to get right into it. I think we should start out with, should we start with cons and then end with pros, like negatives and then give positives? Yeah, that, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm asking you guys and I just decided. I just decided that's what we're going to do. So I will first start out with my cons, which I have to flip it. Oh my gosh. Hold on. All right, let's talk about the cons of my 2024 Model Y. I would say one of the first things that's just like hitting me is when I was buying this vehicle, it's not like you buying a regular car. You don't just go into a dealership and like talk to someone and say that this is what you want. Literally everything is online and sometimes it's really, really hard to get in touch with the people where your car is like located at, if that makes sense. So when I bought this car, you found it online. You literally could like do your whole monthly payments, do all that stuff, see how much it was gonna be, pick the exact car. But when it was time to actually purchase it, someone would call you, place the order for you. But once your order was placed, those people were so hard to get in contact with. Like I was struggling to get in contact because I have a lot of questions. I'm really just one of those people where I have a bunch of questions and I like my questions to be answered in a timely manner. And like, it just seemed like the Tesla number was so hard to get somebody to. It gave you like all of these answers. If none of those are like all these prompts, if those prompts weren't one of those things, you would like click other and your call would never be answered. You leave a voicemail and you never get one. So I would say trying to get in touch with them is really, really difficult at least during the buying process that was really stressing me out because I'm like I'm spending all this money I have to do all this type of things do all of these things and it was just hard it was just honestly really hard I like an in-person person so if you're someone who likes to sit down have someone walk it through you do all of that type of stuff then I don't know if buying a Tesla is for you because it is a lot of independence on your own. Like even my test drive which I guess I would kind of say that's a pro will kind of flip back and forth. A pro was I had a self service like test drive i literally picked up the car with the app in like a mall parking lot and drove it i think i had an hour to drive it i had a whole video of that so i'll link it somewhere of me getting my dream vehicle because this is literally my dream vehicle at the moment so that was cool but other than that you do everything by yourself and someone was walking me over the phone like how to do the deposit and stuff like that but there's like seven steps on the tesla app once you place an order that you have to do all of these things and it was just really really difficult in my opinion I was getting stressed with all the money I was spending and not being able to contact anyone for real to ask questions so I finally got one Tesla representative number and I blew his number up he said it wasn't his personal number it was just like a general number of like the where I picked the vehicle up which was San Antonio that's a whole nother thing we'll talk about but San Antonio and I just kept calling that number until someone responded and they're like oh just send a message to this number and someone will get back to you girl or sir whoever this is it was hard I was not patient enough with waiting so that was just me another kind would be you have to go pick up your vehicle on where it is located I had a vehicle that I really really wanted and it literally was exactly like this and it was like two thousand dollars cheaper than the one that I'm driving now but because I didn't act fast it was gone and it was in Austin and I was just gonna pick it up in Austin because yeah that's where i needed to pick it up from so i was gonna do that and then when it was time for me to place an order that one was gone and the next one was available in san antonio so i literally had to make 
a two plus hour drive just to go pick up my vehicle and it was just a whole thing so that was just difficult but if you have someone who can take you that would be really nice because you do have to travel quite far it's just wherever your car is at that tesla wherever the inventory is they have them everywhere houston austin um dallas san antonio all those big cities is where they have them just sitting there so that was just something to keep in mind you do have to travel to go pick up your car they will not bring it to you so there's that or you can pay to like get it transferred somewhere closer but why am i paying more money when i just need my vehicle you know you know okay so there's that and then number three with that whole thing is the con but it's just a con i feel like if you're in texas you cannot give tesla a physical check for the price of your vehicle the funds have to be wired through your bank or whoever you're getting your loan from and that was really, really difficult because it had a whole delay in my vehicle. I think my whole time of just getting the Tesla was a very trying time. And I was trying to literally, the bank that I went through didn't wire money. The first bank that I went through, let's talk about that. The first bank that I went through didn't wire money. So I had to send a check in the mail. Y'all, a check for almost $40,000 in FedEx mail. And do you know they pretty much lost my check? It never made it to California to Tesla, but you had to literally send a check or wire the money in the bank that I had didn't wire because they were saying Texas, something with Texas is you have to give them the whole payment up front. So that's just something to keep in mind because that was scary. I was tracking the package and my package actually never left a warehouse and never ever got to California. So that was the whole thing and I just had a whole meltdown with that but I ended up being fine but just if you're in the Texas area make sure that you get a bank if you do your bank like through a credit union or whatever it is when you get your loan or if you pay out of pocket you have to make sure you wire the money to Tesla in California or give them a check in California they will not take a check upon pickup of your vehicle when you pick it up on your delivery day so that's that another con we're just gonna get the cons out the way but I promise you there's some pros so hold on just just hold on um, long time for service appointments. When I first got my car, the day after, I have this thing that's still on there, tire pressure monitoring system fault. So it has a little triangle on my car and I really don't like it because it ruins the aesthetic of my of my whole little shindig. It ruins it. Um, so I ended up having a service appointment. It was taking two weeks for the serviceman to come out. The serviceman came out and he's like, oh, I can't fix this. You need like a tire specialist because they're like, they haven't switched your monitor thing. He's like, think of a Tesla as a giant computer and I can't fix this part of your computer. Someone else has to fix it. So now I have another appointment for July 18th, which mind you is a whole month later um, to get it fixed. And I really hope that it's covered under warranty in your app. They'll tell you how much, it owe, how much you owe and it's saying like $400. I will not be paying that because it was faulty before I even bought the vehicle. So there's that, but service appointments are really, really long. Um, just, so just keep that in mind. I told you guys about how it's hard to contact someone, about how you literally purchase the whole Tesla on a whole entire app. That's literally all you do is an app on your phone. I don't know, I'm only 27 and I feel like I'm youthful, but I just, that blew my mind. Like pew, everything that I do, all of everything is on an app. Like you putting your insurance on there, you picking your car, you putting your payment, you doing all that stuff, putting your VIN number, everything was just on the app. Um, another kind would be this car is a bug magnet if a bug is anywhere in the general vicinity it will land on your car it will land on it and it will stay on it and it will look awful i got the white one because her name is snow s-n-o-h and i do long distance driving back and forth between like these texas cities and when i tell you my car looks like i killed probably 300 bugs on my little drive that's exactly what it was so make sure you get a car wash membership try to get the touchless ones because you know they say it's not good for anything to touch it but it's a bug magnet and it's always like you see the bugs guts and stuff on your car and it's on the front so at least there's not a grill that it goes in because it is an electric vehicle but it is on the front and it does stay on the windshield hard so just keep that in mind um Another con, this is just a personal con for me. I wish I would have got the Tesla with the more miles. I think that's the dual motor one or like the long range one. I end up just getting the standard and I kind of wish that I would have got the one with a little bit more miles, especially with me mentioning that I travel long distances back and forth. It was a price difference and I kind of wish that I would have paid the price difference, but I have the one that has the, um, 
the darker cute little wheels like the sportier wheels i got those so i get 20 miles knocked off of me so my total when my car is full is 240 miles and there's other ones that go a lot longer with a lot longer range and i just wish that i probably would have gotten one that was just a little bit longer range now when i start staying in like a city and not traveling to and fro then i feel like it will be fine but as of now with what i'm doing with my life i need I probably needed the one with the longer range so just keep that in mind when you buy your vehicle to always go for like the price that it is make sure you get what you actually need for your lifestyle um another thing is what coming off of the bugs and coming off of the wish i would have had more miles the car on the paint does chip very easily i'm trying to take it as oh i've just been driving my car trying to take it more as a positive and like oh i've been driving my car enjoying my car so much that it has these chips on it but this paint i feel like is very fragile at the front after i get a car wash and like you wipe it off or do anything like that you see the little nicks and the chips of the silver paint underneath so just really keep that in mind um it's not gonna look perfect forever i've literally had it for two months and i already have paint chips now to the naked eye and from far away you won't see it but because it's my car and i pay the money for it i do see it and i'm just like whoa i don't i don't know how i feel about that but there's nothing i can do about it i can get them fixed and then they just pop back up again so just keep that in mind they are not going to be perfect so you're going to have some dents and some dings and all of that and then the last con because i promise i'm going to get to pros because it's been 10 minutes of cons is that the wipers do not work on auto you can put your wiper windshield wipers on auto as many times as you want i've been in so many rainstorms with my car on auto and the wipers do not swish swish they just they just don't um you literally have to manually push the button on the side or you can go on your screen and click the wiper screen to actually click how fast you want it to go but i do feel like when you're in storms you have to look down or you have to keep pressing the button i feel like can be unsafe and this is supposed to be a safe vehicle but auto it does not matter and then if you do do it on auto it randomly wipes something when it's sunny and nothing out there so it kind of has a glitch when it comes to that sense so just keep in mind the windshield wipers do not work the way that they are supposed to so just keep that in mind and make sure you just probably you can't even have it on auto you just have to click the button when it rains and make sure you have wiper speed one two or three or i think it has four or two let's see one two three or four yeah and auto no okay the final con that i would say after giving it some thought would be the maps on here you cannot do apple maps with your car connected on carplay um so you have these maps and sometimes I get really, really lost. It's hard to read the map. So sometimes I always have my phone as my backup to get me where I need to be because I don't know if it's always updated. I don't know what it is. I don't know the whole thing, but the maps I think are a really big con and I really wish that they would do Apple maps, but I think that they have a little deal with Google or whatever it is. So the maps are a little bit different than what you're used to if you're really used to having an Apple phone with like Apple CarPlay. So just, just, just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. So those are all the cons. I know I gave a lot of cons, but I just want to get out of the way because I'm the type of person where I like to do the cons. And then we can start talking about all of the positives. So let's get into the positives of my 2024 Tesla Model Y. And then you guys can see for yourself, do you think that it's a good decision? And also while you're watching this video, comment down below if there's things that you agree with me on or if you disagree with on me, but, but respectfully. So just make sure you do that in the comments down below just so we can have a little chit chat of all of us being some Tesla owners or soon to be Tesla owners. So let's get into the pros now. All right, so I was trying to be transparent in the video with the cons because I don't want everyone to think that everything is rainbows and sunshine. Sometimes things are not always as you expect them to be. So that's why I wanted to give you those. A nice big pro. Let's just talk about the biggest pro that they have. And I would say that would be not having to pay for gas and to go to the gas station i don't know if any other ladies out there they despise going to the gas station because of things that you have to deal with but that is how i feel and i could not wait to not have to go to the gas station again so you literally don't have to go to the gas station and you save so much money on gas um a lot of the apartments depending on where you live sometimes they have free charging for you or if you live in an apartment like i do and you do get charged for your um, charging of your car at your location i've noticed though that if it's a tesla specific charger at these apartments because i have other friends too who have teslas if it's tesla specific then somehow it charges because it links your card to your whole little app and all of that stuff but i've realized if they're like third party chargers and they're at apartment complexes that they're free that's kind of what i've noticed um if you go to like public places obviously those cost but i try to do the free ones like if i'm hanging out with my friends i'm like can i charge my car real quick because that is free compared to 
me when I go to my house that is being charged. But the most that I've ever been charged from like 20 miles to getting to my 240 has probably been like $10.80 because that's the fee at my apartment. Um, that's just the fee. So with charging, there may be some cons because you have to wait for your car to charge, but just do it overnight and just make sure if you need to do things throughout the day, just supercharge it. Um, don't do it very often because it's not good for your battery, but you have options and it's not like your car is going to put, 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 stop working. You literally have options, especially live if, if you live in a large city. So there's just something to keep in mind. Um, a lot of people do have cons with the charging, but I really don't see it as a con. It's really just a lifestyle change and it's just something to be aware of before you do buy the vehicle because you can't just pop at a gas station to get gas in your car and keep it pushing. You have to just wait for a little bit. But a supercharger, if you need it while you're out and about and you're running errands and you don't have time to go home and charge your car or go anywhere else, literally it's like 15 minutes. 15 minutes is all that it is for you to charge your car. So we talked about the whole little save money on gas. Woo, woo, woo. That kind of also balances your car payment depending on what your car payment is. You not paying for gas, your Tesla app will literally show you how much money you save over the six years of you having the car, just saying that you keep it for six years. If you keep it for longer, you save even more money. So I plan on having this car for a very, very long time. Maybe have some kids in it or something. I don't know, but I feel really good. Going off of the having kids in it thing, I think that this car is so spacious. It is literally crazy. Um, my boyfriend has used it. He also has a Tesla and he has the Model 3 and I got the Model Y, but like we store stuff in my car all the time. We haul TVs in here. We haul paintings in here. You can knock down the seats in the back and you have your whole trunk. That trunk is so spacious and you have more storage underneath it and it's not like you have a tire in there. So you have storage and then also on the front, you have a frunk. I don't know if you guys know, you have a frunk and a trunk and all this space in here and it's literally plenty of space. I put the dog in here because we have two Frenchies I put them in here and there's plenty of space for them to sit in their car seats or them to be able to walk around to and fro it doesn't matter I absolutely love how much space this car has not just because it's an SUV but just because the SUV and the Model 3 aren't much different in size it's just kind of like the height and the more how do I explain the height and I guess more storage but like they're pretty much the same size in a sense so just keep that in mind another thing pulling up anywhere you go you feel like that girl okay the appearance of this car is just so beautiful i absolutely love it there is nothing that i don't like about it she looks sleek she looks futuristic it just is so nice and i call her she because again her name is snow s-n-o-h but it's just really really great i absolutely love my car i feel like it gives luxury but it also gives i'm saving the planet in a way and I just think every single time I walk up to her, I'm just so proud. I whip into the hospital because I'm a NICU nurse. If you guys don't know, I don't know who watches these videos like that. But I whip into the hospital like, let's go save some lives. I feel really, really good. And going off of um, it looking so nice, I also think that it drives really, really smooth. Um, I live in Houston and there's nothing but bumpy doggone streets everywhere. Potholes here. Oh, there goes someone on the three-wheeler. That's very Houston. It just makes sense. You just heard that? That makes sense. But there's potholes everywhere, literally everywhere. And I feel like I try to avoid them, but honestly, my car is smooth. The highway drives with me driving back and forth. Smooth. I don't have any complaints about that. If you hit a hole, yeah, you're going to go dink, dink. But it's going to do that in every car. I feel like I'm literally floating on a cloud. I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, another pro, which I also said a con was a service takes a while, but a pro with the service is that they will come to your location of where you live, which is really, really nice. I thoroughly enjoy them coming to my house instead of me having to go to a Tesla dealership every time. Now, the second time I have to go to a Tesla dealership just because it is a specialist, but if it wasn't a specialist, they try to come to your house, which is honestly awesome because they can access your car without you even having to be there. They literally can get inside. Um, if you just like unlock it for them or do whatever you need to do But I think that is a real big pro instead of having to sit in the dealership Like if you have to get an oil change or things like that when you have your other cars like gas cars You don't have to do that with the Tessie. No, sweetie. Not at all Another thing talking about maintenance or like oil changes. There is no maintenance on this vehicle Really when I was doing my research, I thought that that was awesome It's not an engine so you don't need an oil change the only thing that you do need to do is like add windshield wiper fluid and god forbid something happens to my tires to fix my tires other than that it's really just appearance based so i think that that is really really awesome especially me being a woman and i'm not that not even woman and since i'm not saying like 
women can't do those sorts of things just knowing myself and knowing me i will put some windshield wiper fluid in i will change my license plate and do all that stuff but after that that's where i draw the line and that's just not my forte and i just need a vehicle that doesn't need too much stuff i don't want them to say do you know about your i don't know which things that get broken when you go to the thing those things i don't want that so i have to maybe change my windshield wipers and it's life get some tires if need be cosmetic changes and fill up windshield wiper fluid that is something i can do or i can pay somebody to fix my windshield wiper fluids or have my boyfriend do it that is something that i can totally absolutely do so just keep that in mind um talking about the smooth ride my acceleration on this car i think it's six seconds six seconds i literally go so fast i leave people in the dust at the light and not even on purpose it's just such a smooth ride i press the acceleration pew, we're literally we're we're off we're out of there we're gone um people are all the way back there and i'm like oh bye even when people are trailing me like my friends i gotta remember you gotta slow down snow's just just a little bit fast so there is that another nice thing because we're talking about so many pros is the tesla app is so 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 nice and so cool it literally has everything on it that you could ever need it'll tell you how many miles that you have left it'll let you put um your start your cooling of your car while you're gone it protects it from cabin overheat so like let's say it's greater than 100 degrees i think it's 100 100 degrees your car will automatically go into um, cabin overheat mode protection if you want it which is nice so your car doesn't feel like absolutely awful but like for today for instance i went for a walk for like an hour and my car was cabin overheated but i knew i was only five minutes away from my car from my walk and i literally turned on the air and when i got in my car was 66 degrees and it felt so good after being out in this crazy heat the app is just literally awesome um, you can check on your car while you're away. You can like look at the cameras all around to see like is anybody by your car? Can you see and also going off of that they have this thing called sentry mode is while your car is parked If you want it on you can literally see all of the people who are really close to your car Especially if there's any damage done you literally have a recorder in your car that you can take out the USB in the glove box and You can bring it in so you can identify who it is or just figure out what is going on Especially if you live in an apartment like me like there's a lot of people who pass by your car but the good thing is everybody that i'm by usually care about their property and i haven't had any instance of like doors slamming into my car but if you do i'll literally have the video to be able to show this is the person who did it so that is a really really nice protection thing and especially living in a large city again sometimes people do crazy things especially if you go out at night or do anything you literally have proof that your car is safe at all times for the most part you can check it from the app or check it once you get back into the car and then the final thing, which I also feel like I will make this like a two-in-one, is there are so many gadgets on this car. This car feels like a giant laptop. My mom already said that it feels like a giant computer and so did the guy who was helping me with the maintenance, but it feels like a giant computer. While you're charging your car, one day when I first got my car, I had to use a supercharger because I was running so many errands. I sat in my car, ate Chipotle, watched a YouTube video, all while my car was charging and I felt so comfortable, so nice. It would be great for a road trip. You can literally do whatever you want on it. There's Netflix, there's games, there's Twitch. There's there's so many things that you can have on it. YouTube, you can watch anything. I just think that it is so, so cool. And they have all these other features like the toolbox where let's say you're having date night in your car and you want a little fire romance, little crackle on the screen. Boom, done. So cool. Let's say you want to change the color of your car on here just so you can like make it look cool while you're driving. I literally have so many different options for me. I'll show you guys when I flip it around. But so many options that my car has that I just think is so, so cool. There's a charger for your phone and it two chargers and there's fast. There's so much storage. You can literally have Apple Music on here, games, calendar, phone all of that stuff i just think that it is so so cool and so awesome i absolutely love all the little techie things that you have your messages will be read for you you can go on zoom on here listen to podcast i'm gonna be looking at everything that you can have and it's literally ridiculous i have a heated steering wheel heated seats what more can you like ask for you know like what more can you ask for i don't know i really don't know so all right, so I just want to show you guys the screen. This is honestly my favorite little screen. As you can see, my little car is pink here. Here goes that tire pressure thing. Hopefully, we get that figured out. But there goes my little Apple Music with my iPhone. But here's the thing that I was telling you. Like, here goes some romance if you want to set the vibe with you and your bae. Like, how cute is that? So, so cute. And then, 
let's see my ultimately favorite thing is this colorizer thing and the customizer and literally this is what your car can be while you're driving and these are all the colors that I added this is how your car is because that's how mine is it's just plain white but why do that when you can literally do this maybe I'll literally wrap my car and have it be the same color as what this is this absolutely is insane it just makes it so cool all the customization is just awesome you can even make all these noise while your car is um you can make these pranks on people so you can click this and it will make it seem like somebody did that it's just really really funny and you can do fart on demand too which i absolutely hate that word but you can do it on your wheel if you don't want to make it so obvious of this being here but just really good times really fun you can do sketches you can be on mars it's just it's awesome and then when it's christmas time you can have the little reindeers that's driving your car here that shows where all of your safety features of going left and right and where all the other cars are so there goes a little rundown of what mine looks like look how hot it is y'all 100 degrees crazy crazy these are all the pros that I feel like of this vehicle. I really hope that it helped. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below, like I mentioned before, your pros and cons of your Tesla if you have one or if you can think of any pros and cons. Um, I would really appreciate it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. But all in all, I would like to say I do not regret buying my Tesla Model Y 2024. Um, my white out exterior and my black interior and everything like that. I just feel like it's so nice. The sunroof is so nice and big i don't feel like i get too hot in here i just absolutely love it the wood paneling it's just wonderful the seats are so comfortable i just feel really great driving and i feel like i made a great purchase and if you guys are getting ready to join the tesla family make sure you guys let me know down in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you later bye beautiful